hello friends hello friends my name is Tejan Jangit here I am discussing the objective solution of PH Bimra for synchronous machine uh, from question number 1 to question number 10 and don't forget to subscribe my channel that is reference tech education uh, for the next video is coming soon for the synchronous machine from question number uh, 11 to 20 okay now come to the question number one a synchronous machine has its field winding on a stator okay and polyphage armature winding on rotor when running under the steady state condition its air gap field is stationary with respect to rotor now come to the solution okay now air gap field its uh, air gap field is stationary with respect to stator now we have seen that uh, that uh, this is the rotor which is run in this direction up to 3000 rpm and uh, rotating magnetic field is running in up to 3000 rpm in opposite direction this is because of uh, uh, interchange in stator and polyphage armature winding of synchronous machine okay and this field winding is uh, placed on the stator bar stator bar so this flick, uh, field winding is constant because of dc source we all know that uh, we are applying the dc source on the field winding so this is constant constant means it is only n it is not changed from n to s so it is always n so it is always constant now uh, now come to the question, statement number first air gap field is stationary with respect to stator now we sit on the stator then we see that air gap field that is uh, air gap field now this is run at a 3000 rpm in this direction and this is run in this direction so the relative speed in between this is zero so it is stationary with respect to stator so first statement is correct okay now come to the second statement air gap field is rotating at a synchronous speed ns with respect to stator that is wrong we have seen that it is stationary okay now come to the stage uh, third statement rotating at ns in the uh, direction of rotation air gap field this air gap field is rotating at a speed ns in the direction of rotation that is wrong direction of rotation in this direction and ns is rotating in this direction so opposite to uh, each other so this is wrong okay rotation at double speed ns with respect to rotor now with respect to rotor it means we sit on the rotor now rotor is running 3000 rpm and rotating magnetic field is running oppos in opposite direction up to 3000 rpm now we have seen that it is running 6000 rpm from stator stator from the rotor stator structure okay so it is run at a double speed okay so statement 4 is correct okay now come to the statement number 5 rotating at ns with respect to rotor air gap field this air gap field rotating at ns with respect to rotor that is wrong we have seen that is the double speed okay now come to the last statement that is six statement rotating in the direction in opposite direction of rotation this is the uh, scene from the diagram this is rotating in this direction and rotor is rotating in this direction so opposite to in rotor direction okay now the statement first first and fourth and six is correct now b is the correct option now come to the question number two a synchronous machine is has its field winding on on the rotor okay and polyphage armature winding on stator and when running under the steady state condition its air gap field is these are the statement and a b c d are the option now come to the solution now this is this is the uh, rotated now this is the rotating magnetic field okay this is the rotating magnetic field which is uh, on the stator part which is run at 3000 rpm for two pole machine and this is the rotor magnetic field which is constant because of uh, because of dc source with respect to rotor it is constant with respect to rotor and rotor is rotated at 3000 rpm for the synchronization between the stator and rotor field okay now come to the statement number first uh, the air gap field is stationary 
air gap field is stationary with respect to stator this uh, this rotating magnetic field is run 3000 rpm with respect to stator so it is not stationary okay so statement first is wrong okay now come to the second second statement rotating at a ns speed with respect to stator now we sit on the stator then we have seen that rotating magnetic field run in this direction from up to the speed ns that is 3000 rpm okay so statement 2 is correct okay rotating at a double speed with respect to rotor now we sit on the rotor then we have seen that uh, uh, rotating magnetic field rotate in this direction that is the constant speed that is not constant speed that is zero speed so this is this is wrong statement third is wrong now air gap field is stationary with respect to rotor now we sit on the rotor which is run run in this direction run in this direction up to 3000 rpm and rotating magnetic field is also rotating in this direction from 3000 rpm so it is stationary with respect to rotor okay <clears throat> so statement 4 is also correct okay <clears throat> Uh, 3 is not correct, 2 is correct, okay? And 4 is correct. And 5 question, 5 statement. Rotating at NS in direction of rotation, okay? This, this is the uh, rotation in the, uh, it, this is the direction of rotation which is rotated at NS speed and rotating magnetic field is also rotated in this direction up to the 3000 rpm so both are in same direction so statement 5 is also correct so statement 2 4 and 5 is correct 2 4 5 is correct so option d is correct okay now come to the question number 3 the maximum possible speed in rpm at which alternate alternator can drive drive driven to generate the voltage at 60 hertz and 50 hertz for the maximum speed the pole should be minimum because the speed is inversely proportional pole so minimum number of pole for the generator that is 2 now for the 60 hertz generator speed should be 3600 rpm now for 50 hertz generator speed should be 3000 rpm in uh, for the pole pole p equals to 2 so option d is correct now come to the question number four two mechanically coupled alternator deliver a power at 50 hertz and 60 hertz respectively the highest speed of the alternator is option a 3600 rpm 3000 rpm 600 rpm and 500 rpm now come to the solution okay now because both generator are mechanically coupled okay so these both generator should be run at a same speed okay now for the different different number of pole uh, different generator are run at a different different uh, speed okay now pole should be different but speeds must be same okay for pole number 2 pole number 10 for this uh, 50 hertz generator it's run at a 600 rpm and for pole number 12 60 hertz generator run at 600 rpm so at this condition speed of both generator are same the speed of both generator are same so one generator with pole 10 and second generator with pole 12 are used okay so 600 rpm the maximum speed now come to the question number five Match the list first and list second. Select the correct answer using the code given below the list. This is the theoretical question. Okay. So, stator core should be made up of silicon steel because stator have high rotating magnetic field which is generated in high permeability core material which is silicon steel. Okay. So, A is connected with 3. Okay. A is connected with 3 and rotor core made of mild steel so 3 and 4 3 first 3 and 4 
okay three and four and stator winding should be of copper okay one 